Hi guys and welcome to the Sunderland vs Wickham match review and as you can see I am absolutely buzzing with that 3-1 win against Wickham at the stadium like today and what a performance it was. I I'm really really proud of the lads. It weren't a case of us you know just absolutely battering them but all the defensive work and the effort and the commitment that the lads shown today was it was just something else. It really was something else and it's a shame we conceded right in the last second of the game as well because I don't think we deserve to concede, you know, Patterson wasn't really tested all afternoon. Um, but getting into the game, we do have uh, the lineup. So we had Patterson in goal, we had Sirkin, we had Doyle, Flanagan and Winchester across the back. In the middle we had O'Neill and we had Dan Neal returning to the centre, which obviously really pleased me. And then in behind Ross Stewart we had uh, McGeady, Embleton and Lyndon Gooch. Now getting into the game, the opening 10 minutes, I genuinely thought it was going to be a really, really bad day at the office because we genuinely did not get anywhere near the Wickham penalty area, let alone their, their half. For the opening 10 minutes, they were just pumping cross after cross, a ball after ball into the area we, we were managing to deal with and they weren't testing um, they weren't testing Patterson at all, really. But they were coming down the right-hand side quite a lot and they were putting in these hard-driven low balls that we were you know, getting into tangles with and it, there was scrambles in the box. And we genuinely could not string a pass together because their press as well, it was ridiculous. They were bullying us. I felt like we were really soft in the opening 10 minutes, like I say. But then, lo and behold, completely against the run of play, we managed to get it down the right-hand side. Embleton cuts inside, puts in a perfect ball. It's our first chance of the game, and it sits perfectly on the head of Ross Stewart, the Loch Ness drug, but he gets it just in between the defenders, and he's got a lot to do. He's kind of coming away from goal, and he's had to head it backwards. He's got plenty of power, elevation, and he's lofted it into the far corner. Well, into the near corner, should I say. Um, and it's a fantastic header to make it 1-0. Again, like I say, completely gets the one to play, and uh, I feel like that's just the, the real kick up the arse that we needed, but it just shows, and I said in the, in the preview to this game, that we might not get that many chances against them, but we have to make sure we take our chances because they don't concede that many goals, Wickham. Or at least they don't concede that many chances, you know, let alone goals. So for our first chance of the game, we put it in the back of the net. Again, they hadn't had a shot, really. I think there was a couple of headers from Vokes that um, went high and wide and uh, didn't really test anyone. Um, sort of hopeful efforts here and there that, again, didn't test Patterson. But they really were, sorry, they really were, not really were. They really were putting us under pressure. But like I say, we get the first goal. Then literally three, four minutes later, Embleton, you know, who got the assist for the first goal, he pulls up with an absolute moment of magic. It's, it's beautiful play between him, you know, interchange of play between him and Gooch. And he cuts in again from right to left like he loves to do. He did it with the left foot, you know. It still amazes me to this day how, you know, two-footed or both-footed this lad is. You know, he's just as good with his left uh, than he is with his right. It, it's such a difficult technique to master and he's so, so good at it. And he's bent it, like I say, comes in from right to left. He's bent it with his left foot into that far corner, into the left-hand side, beats the keeper, 2-0. I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, this is against the run of play, but we've really just flipped the game on its head, and I feel like that obviously just, it really deflated Wickham, and then we started to really, really go from there. We're making chances, we're looking so, so dominant, uh, again, against this Wickham side that are physical, but then I feel like we, we just upped it. I think it gives us a little bit of belief. I feel like we uh, entered this game, you know, maybe not, not saying we weren't confident as such, but maybe giving too much um, respect to Wickham as if to say like, okay, yeah, you're the team that's just come from the Championship, we'll let you have it a bit or we'll let you bully us a little bit. But then as soon as we scored, it's as if the players thought, no, actually, we, we can, we, we're better than these, we, we can do these. And uh, we, we started to bully them, you know, physically, pushing them around a little bit as well, giving it as good as they were. And there was one little thing that, of course, I cannot fail to mention in the first half, towards the back end of the first half, off the ball, Luke O'Nine, he was legitimately punched in the fucking face. And uh, the ref didn't give jack shit, of course. And the one thing, you know, I come away from this game, of course I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing that we won. Still somehow, I'm somewhat pissed off. I say somewhat pissed off. I come away from the game really pissed off because the referee was that shit. And what I'm on about with uh, Luke O'Nine being punched in the face, uh, off the ball, he's getting a bit of a sort of tangle with his, with his man. I, his name escapes me, the Wiccan play. But either way... Um, Luke O'Neill is kind of keeping him at arm's length. He does have his hand sort of like on his shoulder, but then the lad literally just turns to him and literally just gives him a quick dig in the face, and then just runs off. And it's, the, the referee, you know, don't get me wrong, he's behind him, but you've got officials all around, and they don't give anything. It was absolute madness. I couldn't believe it, he's done that. It wasn't like a, a little bit of an elbow like you see every now and then. It's a blatant dig straight in his fucking face, which is utter, um, it's madness. It's so unprofessional, and it's typical of the you know the Wiccan we have seen over the years, just 
or rough, dirty side, really, because in all honesty, as well as they did play in the first sort of 10 minutes or so, you know, there was very, very little quality, but they were using their sort of physicality and, and energy to their, um, obviously, to their uh, to their advantage. They, they, but they didn't really have that much quality. Like I say, it was a case of, you know, hoofing the ball in the box and seeing what happens. And, you know, sometimes that does work for teams. It just didn't happen to work against us. But, yes, half-time comes around 2-0. Like I say, open in 10 minutes, it was all working. I thought it was going to go down the shit of this game, but uh, we turned it on its head completely. It looked a completely different game. Second half comes around. Uh, I feel like it was a bit dead for the first sort of five, ten minutes, but then we're, again, we're making chances. Ross Stewart, he was absolutely excellent. Dan Neal, it was brilliant as well. Luke O'Neill is flat flinging himself everywhere. Winchester was absolutely incredible as, for me as well at right back. Flanagan, I need to give it to him. You know, he was absolutely bossing votes for the majority of the game. Winchester, he was dragging us up. Um, you know, he's not the quickest lad in the world. In fact, no, what I was going to say was he's actually a bit quicker than we probably give him credit for, Winchester. The amount of times he was just intercepting and he's so cleverly just nicking it around his man. He's bombing down the right-hand side. He was truly excellent. Circling on the left-hand side as well. I think he was decent. But his final ball today, you know, there's a good two or three chances where he had absolutely no wicked plays around him. You know, on the left-hand side, acres of space. And he just thump it out of play, uh, you know, and behind... And behind um, uh, the Wickham goal, which is something we saw so many times with Denver Hume, and hopefully that is just a bit of an off day for him in that sense, because Sirkin generally, you know, has been known in the past uh, for a very, very good delivery. So hopefully it was uh, just a, a bad day, like I say, a bad day at the office for, for his deliveries anyway. But we did eventually make it 3-0, just after we were actually weathering the storm from uh, Wickham a little bit. They were knocking on the door, like I say, pumping balls into the box, long-range efforts that re weren't really um, testing Patterson. Then we managed to break forward. It's a great interchange in piece of play. And we kept doing it between Embleton and Dan Neal. Them two, they were doing it a lot where Dan Neal would play it into Embleton and Embleton would come deep and then flick it around the corner back for Dan Neal who's running in behind him. And they did that a good few times and it was really, really good to see Dan Neal, you know, on the young lad as well. So brave. He's driving forward, really getting at them after this interchange with, with Embleton. He slides Stewart through and Stewart absolutely smashes it into the roof of the net. It's a gorgeous finish. It's 3-0, and it tips off, you know, what, what should have been, or tops off, should I say, I can't talk today, I don't know why. Uh, it tops off a really, really good display. That's what I thought anyway. And then, not long left, ball over the top. Ross Stewart managed to get in behind his man. He would have been one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's in the box. He's so unbelievably blatantly pulled down the referee gives nothing again absolutely nothing and don't get me wrong there were some times where I thought that you know we probably um you know commit a foul there and there and he weren't giving anything but there's so many times and this was the worst well of course you've got Luke and Annie got freaking punched in the face but he was behind the referee so I can kind of give him that a little bit but this it was utterly ridiculous and it would have been you know, the cherry on the icing on the cake if we got a penalty to, you know, finish it off. But the referee, for some reason, doesn't give it. It's absolutely dumbfounding. They go up the other end, pretty much the last kick of the game. Uh, it's a strike from distance and it takes a wicked deflection that completely sends uh, Patson the wrong way. Um, and it sort of just trickles into the corner. It was quite weird because there was literally zero noise from the Wickham fan. So I thought, is, is that been disallowed for some reason? But no, it, it stood. They were just... Like church mice, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I just couldn't hear a thing. Uh, but yeah, so it, it finished 3-1. It's a very, very good victory against, you know, I'm probably I'm just a bit pissed off, I think, with the referee. That's why I'm being a little bit, uh, um, a little bit catty, should I say. But, you know, Wickham, they are, they are a good side. Uh, hence why, you know, they went up to the, to the championship, although that was on the uh, points per game. I need to stop. I'm being really catty here, aren't I? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, an absolutely fantastic result. We're currently, if I remember correctly, I'll just get my phone, grab my phone. I'm sure that we are now top of the league. If I have read this correctly, are we top of the league? Let's have a look. Top of the league, League One. Let's refresh. There we go. I'm not going to put a graphic on the screen, but I will show you that. Sunderland, top of the league. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll take it every day of the week. Enjoy your Saturday. Embleton for me. Man of the match. Who is yours? Let me know in the comments down below. And, uh,. Like the video if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and of course, stay jammy. See you in a bit.